All right, guys, JB here. Uh, haven't made a regular video for a while. Been doing the NASCAR Racing 2003 thing, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Been really fun to do and fun to watch, and uh, gives us a little bit of something to, to do here with uh, some races and stuff. But uh, and I enjoyed the uh, iRacing uh, race they had on uh, Fox. Uh, you know, I used to run them cars and stuff, so uh, yeah, it's a uh, it was fun to watch. A lot of wrecks. I see not much has changed in terms of the wreck and, and stuff, but, uh, you know, assimilation, you can't really get it perfect like a real deal. So it's going to be different. But uh, we got some NASCAR news here I want to get to. Kind of sad news. NASCAR has pay cuts. Uh, administration shut down. Uh, as we get down here, uh, as the racetracks you know the corporations and stuff for the people works at these racetracks uh a lot of them don't make big money uh, a lot of them make just a uh, average money like a normal worker would at a certain place you know they're probably around the 25 to 35 thousand dollar range a year deal and uh you know some of these tracks are doing this will be daytona auto club talladega phoenix darlington miami Richmond, Kansas, Martinsville, Watkins Glen, Michigan, Chicago land. As of now, the salaries will be taken a redu reduced by 20%. So that is huge. So if you're a, a you know employee of one of these racetracks and you do say maintenance or or just keeping the track clean and this and that, you're going to be taking a pay cut. Uh, I think that you know hurts up with these tracks being. The people who owns them and stuff having as much money as they do. Uh, I truly believe that they could have helped them out more. Than I, I don't see this being necessary. If uh, anything, it could allow, give them a furlough until racing starts back to where they'll, they would get the regular pay every week. Uh, you know, uh, thing is, you know, see, this is temporary postponement of the season and another thing too is then they want to work up to death by trying to get these races going and especially a lot of other people in the business where the way they're talking is they want to run a race on a sunday a race on a wednesday and, and just try to run all these races that we've missed these eight or ten races and uh, maybe more try to pile them all in in a month or so and uh, to me that's just over doing it it's this is too much work for the the teams and this and that. They, they need to be a different solution to this. Uh, if not, just completely just shorten the season if we do go back. Uh, I know the president was talking about trying to get everything reopened by Easter. I, I definitely don't see that happening because the cases are just going up and up every day. Uh, North Carolina's getting worse. I can tell you that right now. Uh, Every day they get lots of more cases. Uh, I just don't see it happening by their deadline of May 8th, maybe June, July 8th, possible. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I mean, things could change. They could find some, anything that happen. But I, I just feel like NASCAR's a burst. They are going to lose money this year, and they, they, they've got to face it. The money will not be there this year. But there's other options you could do. You could right now. You could really be testing the uh, Gen Seven car. You could be, uh, you know, testing with them, getting six, seven cars on a track with a small people in the infield, say maybe twenty, thirty guys. You know, that way you're under the fifty people limit. Uh, do a lot of testing. Do stuff that uh, it's productive and uh, start getting your. How do I say this? Start getting planned for what you're going to do in case we do get to start back racing. But uh, I know a lot of people around the country have lost their jobs and feel sorry for them. Uh, you know, uh, with the uh, package that they have gave out to the Americans is so, so decent. Uh, I don't really see it really exploding the economy as they think. With a uh, giving a, somebody a twelve hundred dollar check, 
most people's will take it and put on their bills and they're not going to be out in Target shopping or Walmart and this and that. It's going to be bills, bills. So, especially speaking that they're giving the same thing from somebody that makes 25000 a year to 75000 a year. If you're making 75000 a year, you do not need the $1,200. I'm sorry, but it's true. Uh, and then it goes beyond that with... Uh, married couples or whatever it makes $150,000 or more a year they're willing to offer them $1,200 and I'm like come on guys that's like 10 bucks to them I mean take that out and give it to the people that needs it uh I mean it is a good thing that they are doing what they're doing don't get me wrong but nah, I just you know I'm not I don't get into politics uh, and I'm not going to sit here and argue Republicans or Democrats or none of that stuff. I'm I'm not that way. I just after I just saw the package that they're proposing, I'm like, uh, nah. These people that make seventy five thousand dollars a year or more should not get anything. Uh, and give a little more to the poor. Say at twelve hundred should have been three thousand or something like that. Uh, if you want to, to get the economy going, but these people in these racetracks, you know, they're going to need it too, you know. Not everybody works in a race and makes a killing. Okay, a lot of them are just normal, low-class workers making 30000 a year, you know. So, uh, we'll see what that goes. That's, that's pretty huge for NASCAR. And, uh, you know, with these races that they're talking about, like saying running possible Wednesday race or something, the fans ain't gonna be there. These people's gonna be trying to get back to work, trying to get caught up. You can't buy a ticket because they're gonna be trying to pay back bills that they owe. This and that. NASCAR's in a bad situation. Uh, they got a couple solutions, and that's shorten the season, I think, or cancel it completely, and get prepared for next year with the Gen Seven car. Uh, that's just what I would be looking at, but. We'll see what happens, but uh, I hope everybody's been enjoying the NASCAR 2003 League. Uh, I will have a video with a point standings on it and stuff, and a diecast buffet with uh, winning the race. That was great to see. It was a great race. So, uh, yeah, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. Everybody be safe. This coronavirus stuff is serious business. It's nothing to joke about. A lot of people's joking about it, especially, you know, this and that. And, uh, over the past three or four days, it has increased and got worse and worse and worse. And here they're talking possibly about opening up the country in a few weeks. <laughs> and I don't think it's going to happen. But uh, anyway, everybody have a good one. Everybody stay strong, be safe, and we will get NASCAR back one day. But let's do it the right way. Let's not rush it. And uh, try to, these families of these teams, if you're a tire changer or group, you know, whatever, uh, you know, anybody on a cruise, you want to see your family. You don't want to have to go two straight months without seeing your family because you got to work on a Sunday for a race and head right to another track for a Wednesday race and then Saturday night race, uh, you know, two or three races a week. And that's just, that's going to be too much. So I'm, I'm a no go with that, but a lot of people might disagree. We'll catch you guys later. Everybody be safe and, uh, love you guys. Be good.